As the NFL lockout stretches on, don't be surprised if you see some big name players with new jobs. The Bengals' Chad Ochocinco says he will try out for Major League Soccer. Troy Bergeron of the Cowboys is one of two players who've signed with Arena League football teams this week. NBC 5's Ashanti Blaze has the story new at 10 tonight. Chrissy, what's important to remember is that these NFL players will not receive a paycheck as long as this lockout drags on. One financial expert tells us these players will be hard pressed to find a comparable salary elsewhere. Six days into the NFL lockout and it's evident players are growing concerned. More than any other sport, professional football players cannot afford a lockout. Ed Butowski knows better than anyone. He's a wealth manager for a number of professional athletes, including NFL players. You're going to see their expenses continue. Their income will be zero if there is this lockout, which we're seeing right now. And this is something they won't recover from. These guys are living off of 50, 60, 70 percent of what they're making today. It's why you're seeing some NFL players like Dallas Cowboys receiver Troy Bergeron flocking to alternative jobs like playing for the Arena Football League. Going to the Arena Football League makes some sense. That's what they do for a living. They can make some money there. But a lot of people realize, you know, very easily that they don't make as much money in the Arena Football League as they do in the National Football League. In fact, Butowski says players will only make about 5% of the NFL average of $1.6 million if they play for the AFL. They're not prepared. But at this point, with the lockout still lingering and no promise of a paycheck, something is better than nothing. I think what you're going to see is that this thing's going to come to an end relatively soon, but the scar is going to remain. And the scar is, what am I going to do for the rest of my life when football's over? That's what people need to be asking themselves. And Butowski says this lockout should really be a wake-up call for NFL players and how they manage and save their money. He says with the average NFL career being three or four years, the money they make now should really last them for the next 40 to 50 years. Reporting live in Arlington, Ashanti Blaze, NBC5. Thank you, Ashanti. Here is the latest on the lockout, which is now on day six. A hearing on the players' lawsuit against the owners is set for April 6th. The players are asking the judge for an injunction to stop the lockout. They're also accusing the NFL of violating antitrust laws. Regardless of the lockout, the 2011 draft is scheduled to start April 28th.